guys, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to episode 42 of the Glasgow Rangers save. You join us today as we're about to take on Real Sociedad in a massive Champions League game with lots of repercussions, you know, we could be looking at complete elimination, we could be looking at a potential push towards the top of the group or we could be looking at a Europa League spot, it's all on the line in this game. But before that, we'll cover the last two games and I've got other stuff to show you as well that we've been looking into. Basically, since that Bayern Munich game where we lost 3-2 at home, taking on Hearts at home, which resulted in a 2-0 victory, goals from Nikola Maximovic and an Andrew Robertson goal in the 91st minute, gives a good 2-0 win, uh, dominated the game there, as you can see, a lot more shots, um, a lot more possession, 60% to 40, which is an overall good performance and a clean sheet to boot. After this, we then travel to Motherwell, a 3-1 victory, about the alley with opening goal, Stuart Finlay, a complete comical one goal, made it 2-0. Benedict Gimber made it 3-0 with 3 minutes to go. And then Motherwell got a kind of scrappy goal right at the end through Archie Frampton, a young new gen, which kind of got rid of a clean sheet. But overall, it's what we're looking to achieve there. Two wins out of two, six points, and it gives us an 11-point cushion already after 13 games. And what's even more amazing is the fact we're 19 points clear ahead of Celtic, and we're in November. Which is absolutely crazy. But you know, they've got a game in hand up to 17, but the league's looking pretty secure already. It's just a case of, you know, trying to compete in Europe. And of course, that game coming up after this game is Celtic away in the Scottish Cup. So we could potentially, you know, either be out of, you, uh, be out of the Scottish Cup or we could be, you know, looking at a potential double. I would like to think the. Champions League's maybe a little bit of a, a grasp and maybe Europa League would be too, but you know, we'll see. We'll, we'll compete and we'll see what happens. But uh, obviously since the last time, we obviously I decided we're going to sell Lopez and Christie. They're going to Slova and Liberec and Hearts respectively for 2.3 and 1.6 million. Uh, although it says we've put a bit in for Dejan Jovic, I don't think it's going to get accepted. This kid looks incredible. Uh, if we get a bit accepted, I'm going to be delighted because I think he could be somebody that could be absolutely outstanding. So he's one we're looking at. Uh, you know, we're also looking at Juan Carlos Jimenez, bringing him on from the Long Island Rough Riders. Basically, we've just seen him from scouting. Tweet determination, although he has 24, you know, there is a lot of potential we could tap into there and, and could potentially sell him on. And then the same again with Yeri Havel. Put the bid in. Whether it gets accepted, we'll see. Um, the other thing I've done since the last video is I was kind of talking to us about a mate, talking about Rangers in real life. He's a big Rangers man, and he was saying obviously they're looking to revamp the scouting. So I'd look at my scouting setup, and only had four scouts, and that instantly told me I need to get out and improve this. So I went out, seven new scouts, had a look at the board, and I said, Can we get more? They happily agreed. They gave us up to 14, so that's allowed us to bring in 10 new scouts in total. Um, I'll just quickly show you the likes of guys we've brought in from everywhere over the world. You know, we've brought in Jason Donovan to cover uh, North America, Juan uh, Juarez Fischia to cover South America, you know, we've got Felipe George to do Africa, Sheikha Priest Hansen to do uh, Scandinavia, just stuff like that. David Swazo, remember him, he's going to be covering Central America, so just basically covering everywhere. We see 14 scouts are out in assessment and we're up to 29% world knowledge, which previously was about 14% if even that. And you can see with the map, it's starting to cover everywhere else. And that will give us, you know, good knowledge in most places, you know, hopefully we can get that from very broad to even higher. I want to try and get it to 50-60%, cover all these countries around the world, that will even go to more. Because these scouts reports are just kind of, they're just away in their assignments, so it's going to come up over time. But the plan is just to kind of get as much knowledge of the world and the players that are, are coming through, available, bring them in, um, if I'm from somewhere that needs a work permit, you know, we'll, we'll get a, I think we've got a work permit club sorted, that we'll be looking into that, get them there, develop them, play them, sell them on, and hopefully make as much money to get this club as financially sound as possible. But having 5 million in the bank and 61k wages is a good start, I'm just hopefully we can, we can keep increasing that. Uh, other bit of transfer news is Asaya Brown has extended his loan deal at the end of the season, so he's fine. Unfortunately, he misses out for this one. He yeah, injury. The team to take on Sociedad is Kevin Trapp, Ryan Jack, that's how short we're at the back. Gimbar, Maximovic, Brown and Fuentes, Von Gartlinger, Herrera, Yurchenko, Whiten and Adam Nielsen. And we laid seven subs, that's the rest of the squad, which is McCrory, Cortez, Herrera, Songlu, Robertson, Gumbio and Lewis McLeod. 
you know the repercussion guys, you know, um, a win here would put us on 5 points, defeat here and a Bayern win is elimination. If we could win here and Bayern win, it's going to make it an interesting last day, uh, last group day, last match day, but unfortunately we you know, don't fancy our chances, but we'll see. So it's a good source of that side, you know, Cardoa is going to cause us problems, Mohamed Salah, solid defence with Gaia, Matip and Balajo. We just need to see how it goes. Let's get cracking out in the game. 72 outsiders there, 46 on, so the bookies aren't even fancying us here. And Pino is a man that's going to be pulling the strings. He does look like he could be a tidy B player, but a lot. he can sort of prove a lot. He's definitely got a lot of potential. Let's see, so they've went 4 4 1 1. Karen Peters in there, Ruben Garcia's playing. Yep, this is going to be difficult. But happy with what Lindemann says. We'll set the boys. We also said that for the last time. Get our defenders to make a difference, and it's all about just trying to motivate Craig White and Yurchenko. That's the one, if he's motivated, he might have a chance. But it's all about just being positive, hopefully, getting a good a performance as we can, at least try and get in the Europa League. You know, we need to try and at least get the coefficient up, uh, which will get us better group seedings. But you know, if we're not getting the kind draws, it's, it's pretty hard, you know. It's getting to the stage of Westbrook qualifying for the first round of the Europa League qualifying, <laughs> just so we get the wins. But what a start! That's exactly what we needed. Jolie and Bon Gartlinger right in there. And he rifles that into the back of the net, giving really no chance. Good ball from Fuentes. Adam Wilson is unlucky with his initial effort. That's great desire, great energy. A blast into the back of the net. Phenomenal start. But can we capitalise on it? Can we get that second goal? Gives a bit of breathing space. Inner lead against Bayern. So, so far, so good. But you saw the quality in that Bayern side. You don't expect them to lose, you don't really certainly don't expect them to finish bottom. But maybe, just maybe, can we make something happen and shock this group? Could save from trap, from Cordova's effort. Can we launch a good counter attack? Interesting to see what Kevin can do. Remember, we're still playing the high lines, so we're hoping to play as much of this game in there half as possible. Whiten, he's unlucky there, and Cranvita gets it away. I just felt the way they'd probably line up, and we're just playing one up front. Plays high up the park as we can. Cordoba's not really going to run. He's more of a target man. And hopefully we should be fine. But it's just watching out for the likes of Salah and that. But if we just get in their face, don't give them chances, you never know. There's Cordoba, so we need to watch the runners from midfield. Ruben Garcia's in. And he slots at home. And that's all from Craig Whiten's just missed pass. Misplaced pass, even saw it in the middle of the park. He gave it away, and then they just get followed the numbers. Brown's absolutely nowhere, and Garcia with a tidy wee finish, leaving Kevin Trapp with no chance. So how many points have we lost from winning positions so far in this group? God, unreal. So I think we'll try to get 2-1 ahead. If we get 2-1 ahead, we'll probably go back 5 and, and look to defend, but so I'm far from pleased. Let's try and motivate everybody. Adam Nielsen, you've got an assist, but what else have you done? Everybody's motivated. That's enough for me to give up the 15 minutes. We'll see if they can get that second goal. If we get the second goal, we'll change the system. If they score panic stations, I guess. Nothing silly, that's it. No covered Browning to Yurchenko. Craig White in this way, he used to drive at the opposition. Nice tackle, unfortunately. Is this going to be another counter attack? Cordoba's got the run it is. Why are we backing off? Nice shot, goes into the ground, but a good save from Kevin Trapp. Adam Nielsen's got an injury, so that could open up an opportunity for Lee Sung Woo. He'll come on, be the advanced fold of an hour striking options on the bench, which is worrying. Fuentes and Browning are going to come back. From Garthling Girl being a three, and it's going to be Jack in the midfield, and he's actually going to get in there and be box to box. It's a good thing that Ryan Jack can cover that many positions. I feel we need to go for it. Because I don't fancy our chances in the San Siro, so we try and get as many bodies in that middle of the park, especially the 4 4 1 1, just to kind of help us there. That's a good ball. Salah's got the pace. Thankfully, he doesn't have the angle, doesn't have the finish. That just shows you how easy it is to get in behind this, you know, this high line, but sometimes, you know, you just have to go for it. It's not a foul referee. 
complete dive and he's going to book Maximovich. No doubt he'll probably get sent off later on and it'll all be down to that. Stupid dive there. It's just making sure the likes of Kranvita can make these mistakes. Jack's running through. Wacky support. Lee Sung Wu. Ryan Jack. Whiten. Ryan Jack. He's done it. He's done it. Ryan Jack makes it 2 1 to Rangers. The box to box midfielder now. Good hold up play into Craig Whiten. That's a great run. That's a fantastic pass from Whiten. And Ryan Jack into the bottom corner. Can you question really? Probably can. And we'll just make a wee alteration, which will be Fuentes just to be a full back defence. Same with Browning, just done as a right back now. Um, might drop a bit deeper in the defensive line. And we'll sit at defensive just to try and waste some time. If we see this game out to be 2 1, be absolutely delighted. Well, the can remains to be seen, but. We'll add another body into midfield. In fact, actually, it's going to be it'll be Jerry Gumbio. He'll come on. Craig Whiten. Gumbio will come in here. But I'm gathering that will just sit there as an anchor man. We'll just have Gumbio as a ball in the midfield. Not the greatest one. But just as many focus we can on to just defend and, and see this game out. I try to go defensive than contain, I just don't feel contain gives us really any option. Going forward, right? Finally 2 1. Doesn't help us at all. It's going to make the group tight in it the last day. Salah. So it's even more vital now that we hold on and see the game out. They brought on Kenneth Vimmer. We're going to go contain. Last two minutes. Let's just hope the boys just keep possession. We're off the high up the park here. If they get the ball here, we're kind of screwed. Just hold out 30 seconds, boys. Garcia coming forward into Sergio. I think it's Sergio Roberto. It might just be some sort of Roberto. And Salah. Pino. And it's over the bar. Hopefully, Kevin Trapp will waste as much time as possible. And that's fantastic. That gives us the 2 1 victory. Not a great performance. The man in the match was Bob Gartlinger. He was the only person, him and Ryan Jack, went over a, a 7. Which is quite scary. But a good win, nonetheless. It does mean we're going to have to go to the, the San Siro and win. Just to even qualify for the last 16. In fact, I think the way the group works out. Uh, what would need to happen if we won the San Siro? would all be down to really what so that does. So it, it makes it interesting. There's a lot of kind of scenarios that can happen in the last day. Um, I'm not actually sure. I think it all depends on head-to-head. -head. I think we're going to make it through. I need to check how we did against Inter. I think head-to-head -head we can't finish ahead of Sociedad because they... How did they do against us? I can't remember. Let's see Sociedad in the first game. 2-1. So let's, let's level with them. I don't know what that would come down to. Inter... Yeah, we beat another through. Because we drew to two at home, the two defeats, uh, the defeat was against Bayern. Well, this makes it interesting. So we go for it and we can win it in her. We're in the last 16. And I don't think there's an option for us to finish in the Europa League. I think that's it. Anyway, I'm still amazed there actually seeing that Monaco score winning 7 1 against Madrid. And the fact that they were 6 0 up. Ocampos, Paul De Quitas, I've got other good young players coming through. And Madrid have still got kind of a lot of the, the old guard there with Ronaldo, who will now be 34. Oh, that's interesting. It certainly makes it a lot annoying in that last game of the campaign. Maybe I think we'll rest people in the game before it. I'll just worry about Masinovic, we'll give him a rest for that Celtic game. And we have Partick, so we'll rest people against Partick, make sure everybody's fit and, and ready to go against Inter. But other news, I forgot to mention earlier on, is Kevin Trapp is out of contract. He is here until 2024, 20 grand a week. At 29 now, maybe we'll cash in on him pretty shortly. Let's say minimum release clause, uh, there's none, so we can sell him forever we want. Hopefully maybe make 15 million off him. And then finally get McCrory in. Amazing that he's developing, still at a decent rate, and he's actually got more appearances for Scotland. Well, same amount, sorry, for Scotland he has in our first team this year, which is, is crazy. 
But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that episode. So it's going to be interesting how this is going to get down in the, the last day. And I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing what happens. If you get any comments on the series, guys, please leave them in the comments section. And until next time, this is 21 Maxwell. And I'll speak to you all real soon. Bye-bye.